Good morning. How is everybody today? Bless. Uh, this is Redeemed Christian Fellowship, and I am redeemed. I mean, we are redeemed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. I'm, I want to get some t-shirts that say, I am redeemed. Yes. Amen. Amen. God is so good, isn't he? Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we want to welcome you. Let's, let's start off with prayer. Father God, we just thank you for your presence. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for his great, wonderful ministry, Father God, to teach us, Father God. Let every word that comes out of our mouth, Father God, be glorifying and pleasing to you. And let every word be anointed and to produce that which you want to be produced in this uh, setting and in this hour, Father God. Let hearts be uh, set free in Jesus' name. Amen. And let people be healed, whole, and made healthy. Let them prosper, Father God, in Jesus' name. We give you praise and we give you glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. God is so good, isn't he? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Father. Last week I taught on, uh, on uh, Be Not Afraid, Only Believe, I believe it was. And I want to go down that line just a little bit more um, because I think it's important. Amen. Amen. Uh, we're living in a time where society is, uh, uh, and it's, when I say society, I say it's as a whole because it's all around us. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the country, the nation, the world has been given over to fear. Yeah. Amen. And it's governing their thoughts. It's governing their emotions, their feelings. Mm -hmm. And these are real feelings and real thoughts, real concerns. Amen. Uh, but uh, but the, the, the problem there uh, is that God's not considered within their reasoning. Right. Okay. Amen. And so whenever reasoning, human reasoning prevails, faith is rendered inoperative. Amen. Right. That's right. Uh, I know that's... That's bad, isn't it? So whenever human reasoning prevails, uh, faith is rendered inoperative. Yes. Amen? Because it's considered doubt and unbelief. That's right. Amen? Human reasoning. Mm -hmm. uh, you, human reasoning is the place where the devil uh, functions from. Yeah. He operates in that realm trying to affect the way we think, affect the way we feel, yeah. in order to That's affect right. what we do and don't do. Right. Amen? Uh, so that's his arena. When, when he attacks the believer, that's his. That's where he. That's where he wages his best battle. Yeah. Is in the mind, the will, and the emotions. Right. Amen. Amen. And I, now you're not going to defeat the devil at his own game. Did you hear me? Yeah. You need faith. That's right. Amen. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because faith will open up the door to all that heaven has provided for you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you have to know that. That's right. Amen. So that when you reason, you're reasoning more along a biblical line and your faith is more better and greater supported. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And the miracle working power of God will function in your life in a greater degree. Amen. 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 And that's what's so important. So let's start off with some of our text scriptures. Uh, one of them was Mark chapter 5. And so let me just go over that again for you, please, if you don't mind. Right. It says, uh, in Mark chapter 5, I'm going to read verses 22, 23, and then I'm going to shoot over to uh, 35 and, and uh, through 42. It says, and, and behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogues, Jairus by name, and when, he saw, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. So when Jairus saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just by seeing Jesus... He fell at his feet. Yeah. That's an important, that's important, amen? Yes. Because that means he recognized who he was in the presence of. That's right. Amen? amen. He recognized that Jesus was the Messiah spoken of, uh, ab spoken about in the Old Testament. Yeah. Now, we're going to make that link here in a minute, amen? amen. But it's, it's, it's important for us to understand that the Messiah was the promised deliverer. Yes. He was the one that would come and to deliver his people and to deliver all that believed in him. Amen? Amen? God is so good, isn't he? Yes, yes. So we recognize that Jairus realized who he was in the presence of. And verse 23 says, And he besought him greatly, saying, My daughter, my little daughter, lieth at the point of death. Mm -hmm. I pray thee, come 
and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. Notice what Jairus said. <laughs> he's, he's pleading with Jesus, yeah. and he's saying, come, lay hands on my daughter. She's really in a bad way. Right. Come lay hands on her so that she may be healed. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Come lay hands on her so that she may be healed. Amen. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> and then she will live. Right. Verse 35. And while he yet spake, there came, there came from the rulers of the synagogue's house certain, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why trouble? Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid. Only believe. Amen. Be not afraid. Only believe. Now here's the setting of this of this passage of scripture. Jairus uh, was looking for Jesus. As soon as he saw Jesus, he recognized that it was Jesus, the promised Messiah, promised from the Old Testament, the deliverer of Israel. Amen? Amen. And he fell at, on his face and began to plead with Jesus to come and lay hands on his daughter so that she would be healed and that she would live. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah, glory be. But while he was doing that, while he was doing that, Jesus... The Bible says that Jesus went with him. That means Jesus was going with him to her house. In other words, Jesus honored his request. Yeah. Jesus was going to his house to lay hands on the daughter so that she would be healed. Right. Amen. But the woman with the issue of blood snuck in. <laughs> Amen. Yes, she did. And so she came in and not wanting to miss an opportunity herself, right. jumped in there. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. And got herself healed. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Jesus. And Jesus said, Thy faith has made you whole. Yes. Amen. But while Jesus was talking to her, there was people from the, from the ruler of the synagogue's house that came to him and said, Why do you bother the master? Don't bother him any further. Your daughter's dead. And the Bible says that Jesus heard it. Yeah. Amen. I encourage you to read the, the, the Amplified Bible of yeah. this. Because one... Uh, Part of the Amplified Bible in this subject says Jesus ignored them. Yeah. Amen. Now, uh, I want you to understand what Jesus ignored. Jesus ignored what they said because Jesus knew he could bring her back to life. That's yeah. right. Amen. Amen. That's important. Amen. Amen. You see, you don't ignore doctors unless God has spoken to you that he can do something to you. Yes. Amen. Right. And then you better be sure. Yes. <laughs> amen. Right. That it was God speaking to you. Yes, amen. But Jesus, amen, having formed that relationship with God, mm -hmm. having that relationship with God, having formed that relationship with the Holy Ghost, or having the relationship with the Holy Ghost, knew that he could raise that girl from the dead. That's right. Amen. But then it's important, what's also important, is he makes this he makes this statement. The Amplified also says that, he, that Jesus says, Do not be seized with alarm. Yes and struck with fear. Only keep on believing. Yes. In other words, keep your faith activated. That's right. Amen? Yes, amen. This is probably one of the greatest places where Christians sometimes make their biggest mistakes. Yeah. Their faith doesn't stay activated That's right. during yeah. the journey. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Faith will take you on a journey. Yeah, Amen. A journey that you are supposed to be familiar with. Yes. We walk by faith oh, and not by sight. That's right. Walking by faith. Walk is peripeteho, which means a well-beaten path, something you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. Amen. A path that you have gone down many times before. You can go down that that's path right. with your eyes closed. Amen. Right. Amen. You know where all the bushes are. You know where the trees are. You know how to avoid them. Amen. <laughs> that's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is a path that we are to be familiar with. Mm -hmm. However, there is time when people are not familiar with this path. Right. Amen? Amen? It's That's called, right. I call it the path of faith. The walk of faith. We are to walk by faith and not by sight. sight. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So if you can just get that, if you, if, if, listen, listen, if you want to maintain your faith or keep your faith activated, you have to know something about the walk of faith. Yes. 
Yeah, that's right. Amen. Yeah. You have to know that you'll be taking this 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 journey time and time again, right. over and over and again. So until you get so familiar with it that it is not intimidating, that's right. because you know the outcome of your faith. Oh, Amen. Amen. Do you hear me? Yes. You become yes. so familiar with the path mm -hmm. because you know, you know where that path is taking you. Yes. Amen. I think it was Dave one time was we were doing a live stream and he said uh, uh, in Indiana they would go into the and I, I, I may not quote him just exactly right so you know I'll make the correction next week I guess if I, if I don't quote him exactly right but but he said that in Indiana they had these paths that they went down in the woods and the thing was the reason why they took those paths because they always knew where they would end up. Mm. Amen? Yeah. Is that right, Dave? Something like that? Oh, there you go. He's, he said that was right. Amen? <laughs> See, the, the reason why we take these, this faith journey is because we know where we're going to end up. That's right. Amen? Amen? Do you know where you're going to end up? Yeah, come on now. Amen? That's Amen? Right. By faith. Yep. Do you know where this journey is taking you? See, because you want to learn how to uh, keep your faith activated. Amen. 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 While you're on this journey, it's a walk of faith. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Which demands that you keep your faith activated. Amen. Amen. From Amen. from the start to the end, That's your right. faith must be activated That's right. if it's going to be the walk of faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we are to walk by faith. We are to live by faith. We please God by faith. Yes. Come on, everybody. Come you on. know how it works, right? Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So keep uh, keep your faith activated because He kept His faith activated. And he was able to hang on to the promises of God. Which was evident because the scripture says that Jesus went with him. And the idea was to lay hands on his daughter. Of course, that didn't happen. Because that was when Jairus first started out. Then came in the woman with the issue of blood. Right. Then people from his household came and said, right. Don't bother the master any further. Your daughter's dead. Right. So now, now Jesus' strategy changes. But what does he say? Be not afraid. Don't be alarmed and seized with fear. That's right. Amen? Amen. Don't be alarmed and seized with fear. Thank you, Jesus. Just don't be. And then he says, only believe. Yes. Only believe. Amen? Amen. Only believe. Yes. Once again, let me remind you, the problem that we are going through as a people of God is that we're not uh, operating in our faith correctly. We're in and out, up and down, yep. and there's no steadiness to our faith. That's right. Amen? Amen? Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. We have to make sure there's a steadiness to your faith. Uh -huh. From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, faith is activated. Yes. Amen? Amen? Because once human reasoning comes in and the devil starts to manipulate your thoughts, he'll start manipulating your emotions mm -hmm. and you'll lose all hope. That's right. Amen? Amen? You can't beat him at his own game. That's right. Amen. Don't fight the battle on his field. Make him fight it on yours. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Father, I just give you praise. I give you glory yes. in Jesus' name. And then another scripture. And I'm not going to read them all to you, but but uh, that you know some of our our main texts, our main central themes. Uh, along this teaching, only believe, be not afraid, only believe. It's found in Isaiah 53, verses 1, 4, and 5. Isaiah 53, verses, uh, uh, Isaiah 53, verses 1, 4, and 5. <clears throat> 1, verse 1 is extremely important. Yes. Amen. Because it carries, it carries the, the uh, how can I say this? It, it's part of the platform of the whole chapter of 53. In other words, if you want what is in Isaiah 53, you have to believe. Yeah, that's right. Amen. You take the word believe out of there, out of that chapter, and then you don't have the impact. Right. In other words, it takes faith to have these things working in your life. Amen? Amen. It's not that it isn't provided for you. Are you listening to me? We just don't have the right vehicle to take us to get what we need. Right. That vehicle is faith. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's like it's like you. A lot of people are ordering things like like on the internet and they're shopping and and uh, 
if, if they have to go pick up their groceries, you know, from a store that's already been boxed up for them and ready, they bring it out. You don't even got to look at a person, they'll just put it in your trunk, <laughs> right? Well, you, you know, I liken it to that, you know, that, that your, their, your groceries are there at the store. Your provision is there with God. Mm -hmm. It's there. Amen. But you need a vehicle to get there. Yeah, that's right. Amen? That's right. Or you can't pick up your groceries. That's right. Your groceries is your provision. Yep. You need that groceries. Amen? That's right. Hallelujah. Well, that vehicle for you is faith. Yes. Amen. Amen? You need that faith to get you there. Yeah, that's good. To pick up your provision. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know if that will work for you. If it doesn't, scratch it. Just a thought. God is good. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me talk to you a little bit about, about believing, receiving, possessing, and hanging on to the promises of God. Good. Believing, yeah. first thing. Possessing. Possessing, amen, mm -hmm. what, uh, the, what the Bible promises of God by faith, by believing. Believing, possessing, amen? Mm -hmm. Believing, possessing, thank you, Father God. Receiving, Hallelujah. Hanging on to the promises of God. <laughs> we receive the promises of God by faith. We receive it in our hearts. It's ours. Faith makes, makes, to the, faith makes what God promises to the believer a reality. Right. Amen. 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 So we receive it. We really receive it. Amen. Mm -hmm. But then there's a process where our faith is activated, continually activated, are you listening That's to me? Right, yeah. That allows that promise to be manifested into your life. Yeah. It becomes a different type of reality. Yes. It becomes a reality that's in the physical world. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So what you're believing for starts out as a reality received by faith and then becomes a reality that's been obtained by, uh, been obtained in this physical world by that same faith. Yeah. It's materialized in your life. Amen? Amen. By his stripes, I am healed. Amen. Amen. By his stripes, I receive healing in my heart in Jesus' name. Yes. I am healed. Yes. I am healed. Yes. Glory be yes. to God. Yes. Now, if I maintain that faith, and which I do, which I have, and which I am, amen, amen. then the result of that is physical healing. Yes. Amen. amen. Glory amen. be to God. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's good. Because whatever you receive in the Spirit, by faith, is manifested into this physical realm. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Always. Glory be to God. Did you get that? And that's produced by the power of the Holy Ghost that lives and resides inside of you. Amen. 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 It's the power that, that, that comes through the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That, that, right. that is operated, functions by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So let me read, let me read uh, Isaiah 51, verse 1, or 53, verse 1. It says, Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Mm. Amen. The Amplified again says it like this. And who has believed, confidently trusted, and relied on, and adhered to, mm -hmm. our message of salvation? So, Isaiah 51 in the Amplified Bible sees this report as a message of salvation. Yeah. Amen. 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 Isn't God good? Amen. And it goes on to say, And to whom, if not us? And to whom, if not us? Yeah. Amen. And to whom, if not us, has the arm and the infinite power of the Lord been revealed? Amen. Amen. So what is the arm of the Lord? See, see in, in the King James it says, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? But in the Amplified, it brings out this truth that says, and the arm uh, and the infinite power of the Lord have been revealed. In other words, the arm of the Lord represents the power, the anointing of the Lord. Amen? Who has, who has, who has the power, the infinite power of the Holy Ghost been revealed to? If not us. Amen? In other words, who has had a miracle in their lives. Amen. As a, who, who, come on, help me out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. When you got healed by the power of the Holy Ghost, then, then you stepped into a different reality. That's right. Amen. A reality that was brought, by, brought about by your faith. 
by your believing. Yes. It was, this reality is a physical reality. Right. Amen. And it's manifested through the power of the Holy Ghost. That means the arm of the Lord or the power of the Lord has been revealed in your life. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Isaiah 53 hinges on this truth, if I'm saying this correctly. Mm -hmm. Amen. I believe I am. Uh, amen. But, but I, wish I, could, I wish I could speak more elegantly to get it out like it is in my heart. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. <laughs> Blessed be God. Let me read Isaiah uh, 53 4, uh, for you, if you don't mind, please. It says, Surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yes. yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. Amen? And Isaiah, uh, the Amplified Bible again says, Surely he has bore our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distress, and carried our sorrows and pains of punishment, yet we, uh, yet we uh, ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God as if with leprosy. That, that idea is the idea of, hey, we just seen that happening to Jesus. It had no effect on us. When it says we ignorantly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. People seen that happen, but they said that just happened to Jesus. Right. You know, it doesn't affect us. Mm -hmm. See, that's an ignorant view of that. Yeah, that's right. right. Amen. Amen. Because this is talking about the substitutional work of the Lord Jesus Christ in redemption. Right. Amen. Amen. Isn't God good? Yes, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Surely he has bore our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distress, and carried our sorrows, revealed, reveals his substitutional sacrifice for all of humanity. Do you believe that? Amen. Yes, amen. Do you believe that? Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, do you really believe that? Are you inwardly convinced and persuaded? Or can someone talk you out of it? Mm. Or can a thought... Can human reasoning steal it from you? Yes. Amen. Can a situation rob you of your faith? Yes. From th the things that you're experiencing physically in this world, does that, does that, does that weaken you, your faith? Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory be to God. I'm asking these questions. Amen. Because if you want to obtain verse 4 of Isaiah 53, then you also have to operate in verse 1 of Isaiah 53. That's right. Amen? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So my question is to you is, do you believe? Yes. Do you believe he's your deliverer? Yes. Do you believe that when he carried your sins and your iniquities on the cross, that he, that he also bore your sicknesses and diseases on that same cross? Carrying him for you so that you wouldn't have to. That's right, amen. Because you are redeemed. Do you believe yes, that? Yes. So that every time a symptom affects you, you can go, in the name of Jesus, no, 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 no. Yes. Right. No, 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 no. That's not coming on me. On. You can resist it. Why? Because you believe. Yes. Amen. amen. You believe. Hallelujah. Uh, with generational curses. Mm. That's another one. Oh, yeah. Sickness is going from from one parent to another parent to their children to their children to their children in the name of Jesus glory be to God no 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 that doesn't come on me that's right why amen because I'm redeemed yes amen. I'm redeemed amen, amen. I'm born yes. from above that's right amen oh, uh, me and Monica have been talking on the phone I'll tell you I'll just say this we got God's DNA yeah we do you're born from above yes. amen. amen I said you're born from above yes Amen. Amen. You got God's DNA. There's no sickness and disease in heaven. That's right. Amen. There's no weaklings in heaven. That's right. There's not. No, no, no. There's no. There's no. There's no uh, intimidated people in heaven. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you all here? Right. I, I mean, God is bold. Yes. Amen. God is fierce when it comes to our enemies. Yes. Amen. Yes. He's tender-hearted and loving kindness when it comes to us, yes. the believers. But for those that spread evil. He's not happy with it. Right. Amen. Right. But we are his children. Yes. We got God's DNA. We respond like our father responds yep. to the to the enemy of our soul. Yes. Amen. That's right. To the enemy of our physical body. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. To the enemy that tries to get us spiritually off course. That's right. We we are we, we can talk like dad talks. That's right. Amen. Are you all here? Come on. See, Jesus did. 
Yep. He's known as the Son of God for a reason. Yep. Amen. Why? He had God's characteristics in him. Yeah, not just, not, 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 it's not just that you got God's DNA so that sickness don't come on you. You also got God's DNA so that you can be bold and aggressive. Yes. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Hallelujah. You are a child of the living God. Yes, yeah, right. Me and my wife were talking to my sister, and, 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 and they said, I thought, you know, I have my mom's nose. And my sister goes, no, you got dad's nose. And I go, I thought I had mom's nose. Right? But my sister goes, no, you got dad's nose. <laughs> you know why we're talking like that, don't you? It's because it's, because, uh, it's genetic. It's part of his DNA. Yeah. It was put on me. Right. So now, come on, I have some of his, or him or my mom's features. Absolutely. And maybe a little bit of both. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Well, you know, you got God's features. Yes. You've inherited some of God's features. Why? Yes. Because you're a child of the living God. Right. Amen. Amen. You got, sometimes I talk to my to my daughters, and you know they're very like you know they're like they're like they're very confident in what they want, what they don't want. Amen. And I thought to myself, I thought to myself, boy, they're just like Dad sometimes. <laughs> see, 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 some of those characteristics came. Come on, yeah. are you all here? <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Most of my kids are very independent. Amen. Where'd they get that? Dad's independent. Yeah. Amen. Very independent. Mm -hmm. Are we all here? Yes. Sir. Some of those features through that DNA. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a whole different teaching. I apologize for that. <laughs> but, but, but you're like your dad, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You're born from above. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, Jesus. When Jesus said, when Jesus said, and Jesus says, have the faith of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. What was he saying? You can possess the faith of God. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. You can possess the faith of God. How much more for those of us that are born again? Come on. We can possess the faith of God. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. We can. The idea is, are you, are you willing to? Do you want to? Do you want to spend the time to get the word in you? Mm. That's right. Amen. I mean, do you really want it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Do you really want it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because if you really want it, then you're going to start down this road of developing yourself spiritually. Amen? That's a different teaching altogether. Mm -hmm. But again, here's the idea. Jesus bore our sicknesses, yes. our diseases, yes. our weaknesses, our distress on the cross. And he carried our pains. Yes. Are you all here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 5 says that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was buried, or he was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes you are healed. Amen. Amen. And with his stripes you are healed. Thank Physical you. healing. Mm -hmm. Physical healing. Yes. See, see, Isaiah 53 is that great and wonderful chapter yeah. of redemption. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, many people call it the blood atonement. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. What was provided for us to the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is talking about Jesus being crucified on the cross. Mm -hmm. Amen. And everything that was provided for us through his death, burial, and eventually the resurrection. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's so much more here, but I can't get stuck here. Let, let, let's go to Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 and through 30, and I want to capture some of these, some of these, some of these concepts, if you will, of the importance of believing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because remember, remember, it's a matter of what you believe. Yeah. What are you, what are you willing to believe? Are you all here? Mm -hmm. I think I said last week. You can believe God to heal you every time you're sick. That's good, mm -hmm. right? I said, but I'm raising the bar of my faith. So I can believe, God, that I'll stay healed. Amen. Live in divine health. Amen. Glory be to God. Are you, are you all here? Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be God forevermore. See, see, what is it you're willing to believe God for? What are you willing to settle for? Mm -hmm. Amen? Because whatever you put your faith on is what you're going to be able to receive. That's right. Amen? And I mean your real faith. I don't mean you're in and out of doubt. 
I mean, that faith journey that hangs on to faith like a bulldog. Yes. Amen? Just traps faith down like, like, have you ever seen those trucks that have those big, like when they're coming out of the woods and they have all those big old large logs on them and they're strapped down securely? You know why they're strapped down securely like that? So that they don't waver. Right. Because once they waver, those bands will break. Right. Yeah. And you'll have a big mess, possibly death. Yeah. Amen? So can you strap down your faith? during this journey. Amen? Mm -hmm. It's important that you know how to hang on to your faith. Amen? Amen. You, it's important to keep feeding your faith with the Word. Amen? Amen? It's important to keep feeding your faith with your testimony. Yes. With your confession, the way you talk, the way you see things. Amen? Amen? If you can't maintain your faith through your words, you'll struggle. Amen? Amen. All you got to do is speak what you are inwardly convinced of. Amen. Now don't get confused with what's going on in your head sometimes. Because your head's not your heart. Right. It's your head. It's, it, 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 your mental capability doesn't come from your spirit. That's right. It comes from your soul. Amen. Right. Amen. But sometimes that mental capability or that mental uh, ascent, I guess, I don't know how you want to say it, uh, a lot of times uh, your, your mentality uh, seems so strong. And I'll, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying. I say it seems strong because it presents a reality to you. Mm -hmm. But in your heart, there's another reality this, that wants to be up on the forefront. And that reality is brought forth by your faith. Amen? Yeah. And that, that, that faith is, is uh, released Amen? through what you say. Amen? Through what you say. The woman with the issue of blood, uh, the Greek actually says, that she, for she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, the Greek actually says, for she said, and kept on saying. Yeah. In other words, she goes, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. Right. She right. kept her faith yeah. alive That's right. That's right. through that confession, amen, amen. until amen. she touched the hem of his garment. See, if we're looking at it like we were talking about earlier, the walk of faith. She started a journey, and she ended a journey. And the journey ended in the, ma in the physical manifestation of what she was seeking. Yeah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. But she had already received it when she started the, garden, started the journey. And she knew how to get it. If I just touch him, it's gone. If I just touch him, it's gone. If I just touch him, it's gone. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So how do we do when things come against us? What do we do? If you're not speaking faith, then you're speaking a myth. A myth. Yeah, that's right. When things come against you, how are you speaking? Oh no, we didn't quit doing that! <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how you do it. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. That's not how you. You look up the scriptures, you find a promise, and you say, I'm not going to tell you which kid this is, but I used to say this. My children have taught of the Lord, and great should be the peace of my children. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whenever one, whenever everyone would act up, I go, thank God. Instead of getting all, what is wrong with you? I go to myself, my children are taught of the Lord, and yes. great should be the peace of my children. Yes. I walk in the bathroom, yeah. my children are taught of the Lord, and great should be the. What am I doing? I'm keeping my faith alive. Yeah. I'm keeping my faith alive. I'm keeping my faith activated. Come on, somebody. You have to know how to keep your faith activated. Amen? Amen. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. Keep your, in keeping your faith activated, you're holding on to the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's the holding on. It's the strapping down those promises where the devil ain't going to take them away from you. Because as long as you're confessing, then the devil can't be lying. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's Are you right. all here? Amen. I mean, think about counting to a hundred. Think in your mind, count to a hundred. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just doing one, two, three. In my mind. I can't do that if I'm going by instruction, hill, by instruction, hill, by instruction. Right. The thinking stops. Right. Right. Has to stop to give way to the confession. Right. Amen? Are you all here? Yes. Instead of agreeing with the yeah. thoughts, amen, I'm opposing them. Good. By faith. Because of my confession. Are you still with me or did I lose you? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God. 
Let, let's look at let's look at uh, Romans uh, chapter one. I, I, this is kind of like a rehash, but maybe, maybe not. Let's go to Romans chapter chapter uh, one, verses fifteen, verses sixteen and seventeen. It says, "For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation." Mm -hmm. What does that remind you of? Isaiah fifty three one. Yeah. Amen. It's just said differently. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ but of the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes yes. come on somebody doesn't it sound like Isaiah 53 1 yeah. I'll read it again for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes it is the power of God it is the dunamis of God it is the miraculous ability of God to everyone that believes yes. Amen. If I want this dunamis, uh, miracle, working, power, energy, exerting from everything I say, then I have to believe. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because I have to believe what? The gospel. The message. The report. Yes. Amen. Amen. That reported to me that Jesus bore my sicknesses, bore my diseases. He took them on the cross at the same time he bore my sins and iniquities. Amen. Glory be to God for that. And along the way, he also made me prosperous. Yep. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have to believe that. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Or are you giving over to the pressure and the weight of the world? Mm -hmm. That says you're never going to go nowhere. That says you're never going to advance any further than anybody else in your family. In the name of Jesus, that is not true. Right. Right. Amen. I rebuke that. I rebuke that any weapon formed against me shall not prosper. Any tongue spoken against me in judgment, I rebuke for this is the heritage yes. of the servant of the Lord. Yes. Servants, but I'm talking about myself. Yeah. What are you saying? <laughs> Amen. This is my heritage. Amen. Nothing shall overcome me. Come on. Amen. No, no weapon. That's right. Not some weapons. That's right. Not once in a while a weapon, but no weapon. Will ever overcome me. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory be to anything the devil uses against me will never prosper. Any word that he that he whispers in my ear will never prosper. No matter whether he's using a, a, a mule, a goat, a person, it doesn't matter That's right. what the devil wants to use. It will never prosper because I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Yes. I declare that everything spoken against me in the name of Jesus. Now you do it too. Declare everything spoken against me in Jesus' name. Everything, everything spoken against me, I confess, I profess, it will not bear fruit in my life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, glory be to And anyone that speaks against me, it will be known by everyone that they're speaking amiss. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name. Amen. God is so good. Hallelujah. This is a little bit out there, but I'm enjoying myself. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. People, you can't be ashamed of Jesus. That's right. <coughs> Amen. Amen. There's a move in the world today that is so intimidating that people are afraid to say they're Christians. They'll say, well, I'm a Christian, and they'll start cussing like a sailor on leave. <laughs> An unsailor, un unsaved sailor on leave. <laughs> Let me make that right, kids, you're a sailor. <laughs> if you saved your core. <laughs> Are you all here? Now, how, 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 that really doesn't show that you're saved. <laughs> Amen. Because did I tell you that you were born of the Spirit? Yes. Yeah. Did I tell you why they call him the Holy Spirit? He's the Holy Spirit because he's holy. Right. And it's yeah. his job to sanctify, to cleanse, to wash all the impurities out of our language, out of our behavior. Come on, somebody. Come on Amen. It's his job to sanctify us. It's his job to make us holy. Yes. Amen. And if he resides in you, you should be holy. Amen. And you, if you're not yielding to that holiness, start today. Start today. Because i got good news for you. The Holy Spirit of God will make a difference in your life Amen. and bring you to victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. If you just let him be who he is inside of you, you will change. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh, that wasn't part of the message either. Boy, I'm all over the place today. Yeah, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Amen. Isaiah 53, 1, uh, the new Amplified uh, reveals the same truth by saying, by saying, and to whom, if not us, has the, has the arm of the infant, has, has the arm and infinite, limitless power of the Lord been revealed. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Isn't God good? Yes, sir. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Remember, the scripture starts off out by saying, who has believed? Who has confidently trusted and adhered to our message of salvation? I'm talking about Isaiah 53. Mm -hmm. Believing in the gospel message releases the limitless, the limitless power of the Lord into your life. Amen. Believing, come on somebody, L listen to me, listen to me. Did anybody watch uh, uh, Debbie's and Rebecca's live stream? Yep. Wasn't that powerful? Yep. How God is so good. Here, here's the thing, here's the thing. This limitless power of God, amen. The difference between the world, and I think Rebecca brought up, uh, why don't you bring up these motivational speakers. Yeah. The difference between them and you is that you don't dwell in the realm of motivation. <clears throat> You dwell in the realm of power. Amen. Your words change things. Yes. Right. When you hear the gospel, you are changed. You're not encouraged. You're changed yes. Amen. Me, God, by the miracle working power of God flowing from the gospel message. Amen. 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 There's a change. It's changed. It's brought about through the power of the gospel. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Can you remember that? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you really believe? Set your hearts on really believing today. Amen. Amen. Set your hearts on really believing. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I mean, really believe. In the name of Jesus, no sickness will come near my dwelling. Amen. No plague, no virus will come near my home. That's right. That's right. Will come near me. That's in right. Jesus' name, glory Amen. be to God. Amen. My children are protected. Amen. My loved ones are protected. Yeah. Glory be to God. Everyone in my home is protected. All my friends are protected. In Jesus' name, glory yes. be to God. Hallelujah. See, you have to speak it, people. Yes, right. It's not a matter of just thinking it. Speak it. It's yes. a matter of maintaining a confession that what does, what does straps down your faith. Yes. Amen. See, remember I talked about that truck, that logging truck? Mm -hmm. All those logs, they're very valuable. Mm -hmm. Amen. They can go to be building something really nice unless they fall apart or fall off the truck and get shattered in some way or ruined in some way, then you might not be able to salvage all those logs. Listen, listen, people, strap down your faith. All these, all these things that God has promised you, make sure they're strapped down in your heart. Make sure you hold on to what God has promised you. Don't let the devil take it away from you. Don't let a thought, a feeling, or emotion, or a bad day take it away from you. Yeah. Keep speaking the word of God. Amen. Amen. Act like you're saved. Yes. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. This is the fulfillment of the promise of the coming Messiah. We're talking about Isaiah 53. We've seen it being fulfilled in Romans chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. Amen. So this is the fulfillment of the promise of the coming Messiah in the Old Testament or covenant, which was, which was the framework for the new and better covenant, the New Testament. Amen? Amen? Be, believing in the gospel message then releases the, limit, the limitless power of the Lord into our lives. I can't stress that enough. Amen? Uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter 2, verses uh, 1 through 5 says, uh, And I, brethren, when I come, came uh, unto you, came not I with excellency of speech of, or of wisdom or of wisdom declaring unto you the, the, the testimony of God? For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Well, isn't that powerful? Mm -hmm. Amen? You get in certain circles today and all they can talk about is this virus or that virus. And the Apostle Paul says, when I, I came to you, I didn't come talking to you with the wisdom of men's words. 
the only thing I'm concerned about is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could just occupy your mind and your heart with that concept? Yeah. That everywhere you go, all I care about is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Yeah. Oh, so and so is sick. All I care about is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Where are they at? Let's go pray for them. Amen. Amen. Are you all here? Yeah, amen. He came when he when he went to the church at Corinth. He said, "I came here." The only thing I know is Jesus Christ and you're crucified. I don't know all this other stuff you're talking about. You want to have these big old, uh, how does this fit into this theological concept of, you know, all these diseases and, and look at the state of the country. All I know is Jesus Christ and him crucified. He, he made America what it was and he'll keep America in a great place. Hallelujah. Bless him be Amen. God forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whatever he's done, he can do again. Here's the thing about a millionaire, you know, you can take all his money, but you can't stop him from making millions. That's right. It's just in him. That's right. Amen. He just knows how to prosper. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's you. Amen. You're a millionaire. You, no, no, really. Yeah. I mean, you've got all the promises of God reserved for you. I mean, what people, what the world wouldn't give to have what you have. And you don't even know what you got. <laughs> well, not all of us. You, 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 you know what I'm saying, right? Yes. Amen. We got to know what we got. Yes. Amen. We've inherited something big. Yes. Yes. Really big. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. All we have to do is just go get it. Just yes. receive it. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So how do you receive it? Start speaking it. Speaking. Amen. Let, let me take you to this portion of scripture. Hallelujah. Now, oh, let me finish this one. It says... It says, uh, it says, uh, uh, it says, for I am determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. You should put a check mark by that verse right there, verse 2, because if you practice that wherever you go, amen, if you, if, if you, if you address every thought with that verse, you have a life of change. Amen? Amen. And then he goes, and I, and I was with you in weakness and fear and much trembling. Yeah. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in the demonstrations of the Spirit and of power. Oh. What can I say? <laughs> that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Where does your faith stand in? The power of God. Mm -hmm. What is faith? And what is believing? It is the activation of your faith. It is faith in action. Amen? Are you all here? That's all believing is. It's faith in action. So when faith is activated and functioning in your heart and that conviction is flowing through your heart, getting you so excited that you can't stand still, you can't sleep. Amen? <laughs> right? When that faith is brewing up in you. It's activated in you. Hallelujah. Uh, it, it, let me give you an example. Now, don't do this. Okay. Don't do this. Warning. Don't do this. Okay. Okay. But, you know, this building is run by electricity. Right? And that electricity is turned on by breakers. It lights with its own breakers. But right now, the breakers are on. So if you stick your finger in one of those sockets, you're going to get... <laughs> Fry. Amen? <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Lord Jesus, Lord be to God. Uh -huh. Isn't that true? Yes. Amen? Uh -huh. So, uh, all I'm trying to say is there's power in you, and when people tap into that power that's in you, they'll be healed. That's why you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Mm -hmm. People are tapping yes. into that power, that yes. anointing that is in you. Yes. And I'm, now, here, now, here's the thing. Do you really believe that? Uh -huh. Or you're like, well, Pastor, I don't know. Well, then, then, then it's not going to work for you. That's right. That's right. You've just disqualified yourself. But you see, that, that, that shows you don't really believe. Yeah. Why don't we give faith a chance? We seem to be able to give human reasoning a chance. Oh, my goodness. We're okay. Why are we more okay? As Christians, why are we, we all more okay with human reasoning oh, than we are with faith? Oh, why does human reasoning have to prevail? 
not in our lives. Glory right. to God. Right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Hallelujah. Let us hold fast the yes. profession or confession of our faith without wavering. Yes. For he is faithful that promise. Oh, Father God. Uh-huh. Let us hold fast our profession of faith yes. without wavering. <laughs> you know what wavering means, people? Yes. Swaying back and forth. There's that truck of lumber. That, those wo- those yeah. logs, amen? Yeah. And when those straps are loose, what, is it, what are those things going to do? They're going to sway, yeah. amen, until they break the bands that hold them. But if you fasten them tight and you keep them fastened tight, they're not going to go nowhere. And they're going to be useful when you get to where you're getting to. For them, they're going to become a house, more than likely, or something else, right? But for you, it's going to become whatever it was you believe in God for. Yeah. Amen? But you have to keep your faith strapped down. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just like those big old trucks that carry lumber mm-hmm. or carry logs that yeah. will eventually be turned into lumber, right? Amen? How do you do it? Your profession. Let us hold fast. Let us strap down yes. our faith. <laughs> yes. Amen? <laughs> Let us strap it down. Lord yes. Hold okay. fast. Uh-huh. Amen? Uh-huh. Amen? Strap it down, Lord be to God. Our profession of faith. Yes. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Without wavering. That's right. So it's a tr- tight strapping down without wavering. Amen? Wavering. Why? Amen. Because he is faithful to that promise. Yes. See, you do your part, he will do his part. Right. You can't create a miracle, but he will create a miracle right. when Amen. you hold fast to your profession of faith. Right. Amen? When you hold fast, when you strap down your faith, you secure it nice and tight so any thought has no room to get in, right. no feeling has a room. Anytime these things come against you, you dismiss them. Right. Amen. You, amen. amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We have to learn to be more aggressive with our faith. Amen. amen. If we want it to work. Amen. Now make sure, make sure, let me stress this point. Make sure that you're taking time to hear the word preached. Yes. Make sure that you're taking time to read the word because it'll strengthen your faith. Make sure that you get as many books on the subject. I'm talking about good books. Amen. That deal with, with the real gospel. Yes. Amen. Amen. As, as, it's written, as it is written, not as man excuses it away, is right. what I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah. Make sure that you read as much material as possible. Your favorite books. And I got, this is my idea. This came from Kenneth Hagin. Uh, but I'm borrowing it. Amen. But I'm giving him kudos for it. Mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs> Uh, uh, and he said, you know, get as many books. I, I think P.C. Nelson told him that. But he said, get as many books as you can on the subjects that, you, that you're studying. And the ones you, that speak to you the most, you keep those. And the others, give them away or whatever. Amen. But the idea is, is to keep yourself studied up. Amen. That's it. Because once your faith gets so... You know, he, Ken Daniel made a statement one time that blew me away. It was years ago. I was a young Christian when I first heard it. Uh, and he said, he said, I didn't even know I had a body for the longest time. <laughs> so something, something along that, those effects. I didn't even know. And I thought to myself, that's got to be cool. I like that. Could you imagine not feeling any pain or discomfort in your body at all? Your body not giving you any trouble, whether it's through its thoughts, your emotions, anything? Mm-hmm. Could you imagine no symptoms, no nothing? Did you imagine forgetting you had a body? Isn't that powerful? Amen. I said, I gotta have that. Amen. I gotta have that. Amen. They told us how to do it. Mm-hmm. Stay in the word. Right. Amen. How old are you going to be? You see, when you're feeding on the scriptures, you gotta make sure you're not eating, you know, cake and ice cream all the time. That's right. You have to eat a good diet, good, well balanced diet. Yes. Amen. Amen? Amen. Uh, what do I mean by cake and ice cream? Well, you're always listening to messages that, that tell you how sweet and pretty you are. Mm-hmm. Why don't you listen to messages that tell you what you need to do and how you need to act? Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Amen? Amen? That, that's getting away from the cake and ice cream. Yeah. 
Amen. And it's a little hard on your flesh because your flesh doesn't like it. But hey, you want to grow, that's how to do it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If not, then you'll become seriously, spiritually overweight. Yes. Sweets tend to do that to you if you eat too many of them. Amen. <laughs> I'm already in trouble. I can't believe it. Uh, let's look at the phrase, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. The term hold fast is a Greek word, uh, uh, and, it mean, and it means, uh, well, hallelujah, where was I? <laughs> okay, let me, let me start over. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The term hold fast is the Greek word kata eho, uh, comes from kata, which means down or according to, and uh, echo, which means to hold. The idea is to hold down, to strap down. Amen? <laughs> Did you get it? Hold fast. Hold it down. Amen? Hold it down. Strap it down. Amen? Hold fast to your profession. Amen? Don't let your profession get away from you. Right? Hold fast to your profession of faith without wavering. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Uh, when you put uh, these two words together, it means to hold down or secure. To hold down or secure. The idea is to fasten down so that your cargo will not get away from you. We are to hold down and secure our confession of faith without wavering which means without going back and forth or swaying back and forth. The word faith is the Greek word that is often translated hope, and it means uh, an, an, an anticipation and expectation of our faith. Amen? Amen? God, God is so good. Amen. So this word for faith here is, is uh, an anticipation of our faith, or uh, an uh, what was the other one that was expectation. There? expectation of faith, amen? It, it, it's, it's like, f you, you, you're in your spirit, it's like, it's on its way, it's on its way, it's on its way. So you're looking for it all the time. You're looking for it all the time. It's the expectation of faith that this word represents, amen? In this, in this context, amen, with the surrounding scriptures, and because of the meaning of the word, it, it carries the idea of the expectation or anticipation of your faith. Amen? Isn't God good? Thank you, Lord Jesus. And he says, without wavering, for God is faithful. Without wavering, without it swaying back and forth, without it going back and forth, right? Without wavering. What is he talking about? Your confession. Amen? Don't let your confession waver. Don't let it be over here one day and over there the other day. Don't let it shift to one idea to another idea. Come on, keep it fastened down. By his stripes I am healed. By his stripes I am healed. By his stripes I am prosperous. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous Amen. cause. Yay! Let them say continuously, let the Lord be magnified for his favor and the prosperity of his servants. Or servants. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God takes pleasure in my prosperity. I don't Amen. know about you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Therefore, I'm a prosperous man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. But I'm not going to fight God. Amen. Amen. He takes pleasure in your prosperity. Yes. Amen. Find scriptures in areas where you need help. Yeah. And then fasten those scriptures down in your heart. Mm -hmm. Don't let them get away from you. Come on. Are you all here? Amen. Make sure they're not wavering, going back and forth, or swaying. Because you can't be of two different opinions. That's right. A double-minded man, let him not expect that he'll receive anything of the Lord. That's right. Amen. James tells us that, right? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. First, first Timothy chapter 6 verse 12 says, Fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Lay a hold of eternal life unto us also there are called. And have and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay a hold of eternal life unto us also you are called. Having professed a good profession before many witnesses. Glory be to God. Thank you Lord Jesus. Fight the good fight of faith. That requires us to understand that there will be struggles in your life. Mm -hmm. The enemy will try to rob you of certain things, but you are to fight the good fight of faith. Not, not, not a physical fight, not an emotional fight, 
Amen? But a fight of faith. What does that mean? I will use my faith to fight this battle. No, 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 no. That's not yours. That's mine in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen? The devil's more terrified of your authority when you know you have it. Amen? When you won't back down. When you approach him confidently. Amen? Amen? And you get upset. And you say, no. Don't yell. It's not your partner's or your partner's. It's not your spouse's fault. It's not your kid's fault. You're where you're at or you're feeling the way you're feeling. Are you all here? Yes, sir. Amen. It's up to you. It's up to you. Amen. The Bible tells us that, that uh, uh, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities, powers. Come on, you know, you know the scriptures, right? right? In Ephesians right. chapter 6, right? We don't fight each other. Quit yelling at each other and get mad at the devil for a change. Amen. Amen. Get mad at... Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus. World, you do not, you will not have my life. In the name of Jesus, you let go of my money. It's my money. Amen. Didn't I just tell you that God takes pleasure in my prosperity? Get your hands off my stuff. Get your hands off what's coming to me. Get your hands right. off my kids. Get your hands. Come on, somebody. Amen. Start speaking these things out. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And why does it say, fight the good fight of faith? Because there's a fight going on. Yeah. Are you all here? The world wants your kids. Mm -hmm. The world wants your money. The world wants your health. Come on. There's a fight going on. So get up and fight. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, some of the most powerful fights we watch on television are the ones that go at least ten rounds. Amen. So you could be going. You could be fighting for a little bit. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you're an overcomer. Yes. You're a champion. Amen. Amen. Are you all here? You can do this. Amen. Amen. You're on the winning team. You have the best coach. You are. You are superior to your adversary. Amen. Amen. Don't let them convince you that you're not. Oh, you. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay a hold of eternal life. Won't you also your call? Having professed a good profession before many witnesses. How do you fight this faith? Having professed a good profession before many witnesses. Amen. Come on. Never side with evil. That's right. Be wise. Amen? Amen? Be wise. Never. Because see, the world will get you to believe things and will cause you to be sympathetic to their immoral practices and hidden agendas. Be wise. Are you all here? Anything that's done in lawlessness is not God. Right. There, I said it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's just not God. Be wise. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen? Be wise. Are you all here? Mm -hmm. Be a Christian. If you don't stand up for right living, no one else will. Right. It's called righteousness. If you don't stand up, if you don't make that separation between you and the world, and the world's not going to make it for you. The world will embrace you as one of them. Amen? But we're not one of them. Amen? Holy glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, I love you. Appreciate you. There's no service tonight. Although we are uh, putting something on live stream at 1.30, I believe. Uh, hallelujah. Because, well, it's Father's Day. So go home, and I'll be tuning in at 1.30. I hope you all too. Uh, the word today I hear is going to be really good. I had, a, I had a little bit to do with influencing it, just a little bit, like a button or a P or something like that, of influencing the message. Uh, so it's going to be good. Okay, amen? And, uh, well, then I'm done talking to you. I mean, preaching to you, ministering to you. Uh, we're done. <laughs> Love you. Appreciate you. God bless you. May you prosper. Be in health. And may all go well with you. In Jesus' name, amen.